technique while I was showing you a very shiny dress from 1989, I was bemoaning the fact that I kept so few of my clothes from the 1980s. I totally forgot to mention that I kept a lot of 1980s jewelry, particularly earrings, including this pair, which I got in Soho probably 1985, and they're very lightweight plastic. And by the following year, um, 86, maybe 86, 87, when I put them on, you could not tell me that I was not Edie Sedgwick. I thought they were very 60s and mod. And I had finally read the uh, famous Edie biography by Gene Stein, who very sadly just died recently. If you're a fashionista who thinks Edie Sedgwick is a style icon, the only reason you know anything about her is because of Gene Stein. This book came out in 1982, and I got it in 1986 at a used bookstore on the Upper West Side for 99 cents and I read it a million times and um, even though I wasn't blonde, famous, rich, addicted to speed, <laughs> when I had these earrings on I was definitely Edie Sedgwick. This jacket just a couple of years ago because it had a 1980s vibe. I got it the now defunct Kitson in LA. Um, it's by a brand called God Save LA and it is of course made in China but it definitely had that Madonna feel for me. I like the solid cup and uh, it keeps you warm a little bit. So this boot is what I call homegrown vintage because I just kept it a really long time, at least a dozen years. And again, it's just, I love the lace up 80s look. The Victorian heel is uh, quite 80s too, but back then we would have worn a very pointy toe, not this flat uh, square toe. Click the links below this video to see pictures of me wearing this 80s style mesh jacket, as well as lots of pictures of all the original 1980s jewelry that I kept. And don't forget to subscribe for next week's video.